I'm Gaz, and this is Let's Play Sid Meier's Ace Patrol. This is a tactical strategy game set in World War I with planes. Uh, it is a port of an iPad game, so I'm sure it will be wonderful. Let's start a new game, and the full game. Okay, so there are four factions to choose from. Each has its own special bonus. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the British because of that extra high G maneuver. Uh, it tends to be useful to have a lot of maneuverability. The Germans would be fun, but uh, let's just go with the British. Okay, so my squadron leader, Tom Findlay, Grease Monkey, repairs planes quickly. George Brown, Copycat, copies all plane upgrades. That's actually very useful. It allows me to double down on the upgrades. Caroline Ball. Nine lives, survives crashes without injury, and Molly Hazel, lucky, avoids flak damage. That's pretty useful in uh, bombing runs when you have to go through enemy camps, but I think I'm going to go with copycat ability. So, George Brown. Excellent. Okay, starting out in a DH-2. A pink DH-2. That's okay. Mission 1, Balloon Buster, July 6th. British fighter pilot, George Brown, heads towards the front shoot down the enemy balloons. Here we have the tutorial mission, which should be fairly easy considering that the enemy cannot fire back. Okay. Maneuvers. The round maneuver icons indicate which maneuvers your plane can perform. Mouse over the icon to preview the maneuver. Left click to confirm. Green icon maneuvers allow you to fire at enemy targets. Gray icon maneuvers are not currently available. Tap them to find out why. Kind of unnecessary. Uh, the various arrows kind of have to deal with altitude, uh, which does give a an advantage in combat. Um, but it also going down in altitude also gives you a little bit of a speed boost, so you can go a little bit further. Uh, I think for now I'll just go straight forward, get a little bit closer. Now we can dive down at an angle here, and we've got a little bit further to go. Okay, I think we'll make another turn. Pretty low altitude, but now I have the chance of coming back up. And with the greens, you can see that's how I can get within range to do damage, but this one has little crosshairs on it, indicating that this is the best position for damage. It's 100% damage as opposed to 90 and 57, so I will come up right under its nose and blow it down. Okay, I can make a tight turn here that has high G-forces, does only half damage, but that should be sufficient. Nope, maybe not. We'll have to come right into it. Okay. I'm sure that could have gone a little more smoothly, but it worked out alright. No damage, don't get a bonus for that, but... Uh, we're on rookie difficulty, I can change that a little bit later. I get more points that way. Squadron news. Thank you, sir. George Brown is promoted to corporal for blowing up some balloons. Well, good enough. We get new maneuvers. Learn maneuvers. As your pilot gains experience, they learn new maneuvers. Some maneuvers are learned in groups, like rolls, loops, slips, and skids. Special ace maneuvers are learned one at a time. You have three choices. Choose the maneuvers you would like your pilot to learn. Power maneuvers. Allow you to change altitude quickly or safely land a damaged plane. That might be useful. Loop maneuvers. Allow your plane to reverse direction quickly. It's a good defensive maneuver. And slip skids. Allow your plane to slide left or right without changing direction. So that's good for getting into position for an attack run. The loops are good for defense. Power, I imagine, is useful for just sort of getting into... and Well, with the crash landing, uh, the out of danger. But get... Being able to climb altitude quickly uh, could give me an advantage right away um, if I need it. But I think starting out I'm going to go with something defensive, so we'll start with the loop maneuvers. Okay, next mission. Dawn Patrol. Mission 2. British fighter pilot George Brown intercepts an enemy reconnaissance plane crossing the lines. Shoot down the enemy plane. And it's a big, heavy plane. 
Okay, altitude. Your plane is flying at altitude level 3, as shown by the three arrows under your plane. Some advanced maneuvers, dives, and rotary turns cause you to lose one altitude level. Climbing maneuvers allow you to increase your altitude. In general, having an altitude advantage gives you more maneuver options. The maximum altitude for most planes is level 3. Well, I think I can just charge right into him. He hasn't made a turn yet, so I can do that. I can dive down a little bit, gain that advantage, and he's coming right for me. Now, if I go straight through him, that'll be 31. If I try to gain a height advantage, it's only going to be 13. I think we'll just dive right through him. That way, he's beyond being able to do damage to me, and then we'll have to bank so I can get him on the way around. Actually, if I bank left, I might be able to do a bit longer, or I could just try and go up. Because the thing is, we're too close, so if I start banking and he starts turning, we're going to have some problems. So let's go up, and then we'll start banking. Get a little bit a little bit better of a run here. Oh, he's doing the altitude thing too, bastard. But we're coming up on his rear, which should give me a little bit more of an advantage. Unfortunately, to gain any kind of speed, I'm going to have to... No, oh, actually, this will be good. Although he's now disappearing into the sunset, which is not so good. I can go back up a little bit, I guess. There we go, finally. 47% damage. My elevator is damaged. Hopefully I got another one here. Yes, 87%. He's going down. Okay. That took a little while, but it worked out in the end. Moving on. Upgrades, hooray! Your outstanding performance completing your mission with less than 50% damage to any of your aircraft inspires your scientists to provide one of your pilots with experimental technology, an additional machine gun for improved firepower. Okay, I'll give that to George because I have no one else to give it to. Excellent. Squadron News! Thank you, sir. George Brown awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. More maneuvers. So we can go again with the power maneuvers, rolling maneuvers, which of course is more uh, more defensive, and then the ace maneuver, crack shot, a level attack with greatly increased accuracy. That could be useful, provided I could actually fire upon someone. This would have been useful in the last fight, but having rolling and looping would make him very, very maneuverable in a defensive position. So... Hmm... Let's do that. Yes, sir. George Brown assigned as flight leader. Select a wingman from these four candidates. Oh, you know what? I should have gone through this first, and then I could have given the upgrade to one of my wingmen. Edward Booker can perform loop maneuvers, Sarah Bishop can perform power maneuvers, George Goebel, roll maneuvers, and Maxwell Bishop, slip skid maneuvers. Okay, so these two are more defensive, these two are more offensive. I think, <coughs> excuse me, I think to complement my defensive maneuvers, I will take Sarah Bishop uh, to have her power maneuvers. Excellent. Okay, next mission. Lone Wolf, August 23rd. British fighter pilot George Brown and his wingman engage an enemy fighter over the front lines. Shoot down the enemy plane. Two to one, pretty good odds. And we got a Fokker. Okay. Clouds. Areas of the map outlined in white contain clouds. Planes in cloud hexes cannot be fired upon or seen by the enemy. Only basic maneuvers can be performed when a plane is in the clouds. Well... Looks like he's going to get to those clouds before I do, which might not be so great, because then he's going to hide in them. Or he won't do that at all. 21% damage, fine. I guess we're going to have to bank. Oh, he's heading for the clouds. Shoot. Let's see. 
Where is my, well there's a roll. I could roll, unnecessary at this point. But I'm gonna have to make a turn around, so. Let's see, let's just go up. And then maybe I can bank around this way. Ooh, wow, she's actually got long range. Yeah, he's heading for those clouds. Okay, now we got a bank. Don't I have... I, I did pick loops, right? That's why I'll go that way. Okay, wow. Let's do that. My engine's on fire! And he's hidden in the clouds. Okay, rotary right. Yeah, we'll do that. And I'm just going to have her bank. Yeah, there we go. Really? You can't fire on him? Why? 100% damage. I'm going to Good. So Sarah actually got a kill, which is good because she will need the experience. So that worked out just fine. Upgrades. Your outstanding performance completing your mission with less than 50% damage from the blah blah blah. High efficiency carburetor to increase max altitude. Well, since George here is the copycat, I will give this to someone else uh, so that he will get it as well. Um. I don't remember what these two had as bonuses. Wasn't she like the POW? Okay, I don't remember. Um, let's give it to Sarah, actually. Sarah had the what abilities? Power maneuvers. So she'd be able to go even higher with a power maneuver. Okay. Thank you, sir. Squadron news. Excellent. Sarah promoted to corporal because she took down the enemy plane. Pretty cool. Uh, she now has the ability. Hmm, complementing her power maneuvers with the slip skid would be cool. This maneuver, the ace maneuver, is a half loop followed by a half roll. Good for a quick change of direction. That might also be useful, actually. Uh, I think we'll go with the slip skids. Thank you, sir. George Brown has been assigned a squadron leader. Select missions, pilots, etc. Okay. Uh, let's go to options. Nope. Skill level. Yeah, let's bump this up to pilot and see how that does. We can always go higher as, uh, as we Excellent. need to here. Okay. Let's look at my pilots because I believe... Yeah. I can now upgrade my planes to the Sopwith Pup Fighter, which as you can see is faster, has a higher ceiling, lower weight... Um, but the same hit points, and it is, does better in dives and climbs. So, obviously, we'd want to go with this. And actually, I think I can just do that with all of my planes. Yeah. And I'm also going to pick out some different colors. So, George will go with, like, uh... Yeah. That kind of blue. Uh, I can change the names of some of the pilots. I don't know if I want to do that, but maybe I will. Uh, let's pick a less vibrant pink. Because, you know, girls always have to fly in pink, right? Yeah. Red for George, or for George Tom. And uh, Caroline can have orange. Yeah. Okay. So now I can at least tell them apart. That'll be nice. So anyway, I think this is probably a good place to stop. We'll continue on next time.